How do y'all want to like lives? I think it's time to play a little Infitech 2. Okay. Uh, so, I have another batch of Canthal cooked up. I thought I lost it. I <laughs> I, uh, I cooked up a bunch today. I put it into the, the freezer here, and I'm looking in the freezer, and I'm like, where is it? It's not here. It's not here. And I'm like, is it in here? No, it's not in here. I'm like, there isn't any left. It didn't shut down. It's not gone. I dug open the the floor to see if it fallen through or something. I'm checking the machine over here. I'm like, well, it's not in here. Where the heck? It? It's right here. It was right here in this square in the corner. Ugh. I tell ya. Uh, okay. So, we've got... Canthal wire. We need to turn that into a times two. And then we do our little circle with it. Oh, look, we can get four blocks. Uh, yes. Oh, I'm up to five. I'm up to five blocks now. Five out of the 16 I have to have to be able to do this. <laughs> I just uh I just started back up my oh you know what I took off my jetpack. Let's put that back on for now. Uh I just started back up my oil uh since its batteries were full. Keep pumping out that oil. Until that thing ever gets done. Yeah, my potato field is uh working pretty good. Although I almost think I need a second, a second cart, man. I don't know if this guy is moving fast enough. I guess he must be. Um, strangely enough, though, I'm not getting enough potatoes to fill up all my centrifuges. I guess that's probably not that strange. But um, like I talked about last, I think it was last episode, uh, when I'm trying to cook up Ruby in there, they all try to fill up with potatoes, all of them. And now that I've stopped trying to trying to centrifuge Ruby, no potatoes. They just sit there and use. Look at that. Nobody's using them. I guess that one's in use, but nobody's using these. Where's the potatoes that were shoving their way in last time? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I'm, I guess that makes sense. If I got enough potatoes to get out that far, then obviously if I had Ruby in four of those and the first... Blank spot would get potatoes in it, and then the second blank spot would get potatoes in it. So I'm, I guess it makes sense. Um, so we're going to try to work more on this uh, seismic reading thing today. So I need to make a printer. Just a basic one, it said. A basic printer. Uh, I don't think it's that one. Uh, basic printer. I need three electric motors, three 10 cables, an LV machine hull, and two circuits. So let's go down here and check my boxes. I need circuit. Uh, 10 cable. Motor, tin cable, oh, no circuits, really, no LV machine hulls, man, yeah. I just need one, I mean they're not that hard to make, I guess, but it would be nice if I didn't have to, you got some motors in here for me, no, there are no motors, all right. Well, it looks like I'm making motors too. You got an LV machine hull though, so we can work with that. Um, what over here? Got any motors in here? No. Uh, man, you know I don't have circuits either. How many circuits did I need? Two. I'm gonna make a circuit. Well, I'm at it too. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, so I need iron rods. Uh, I need three of those, right? So I gotta get more in here. 
I need my uh, 10... I know I just had a bunch of 10 cable. There it is. 10 cable. Uh, I am going to need copper... Copper wire? I've got it on me. Okay. Mm, steel plates. No circuits in here either. Uh, and I'm going to need... A, oh, no, no. I don't need those because I, I have... Never mind. Never mind. Uh, Alright, so I need two of these. Bump, bump, bump. Da, da, da. There's my three motors. It was three motors, three... Three motors, three cable, two circuits. So I gotta make a circuit. Uh, which means I need red alloy wire. And... Some ten. Unless I've got some made down here, I do not. But I do have empty circuit boards. Ah, uh, but you know what? It takes three of those. Okay, I don't remember how to make NAND chips. <laughs> Oh, I can't remember how to make banana chips. I do that all the time. Oh yeah, no, that's not what I was trying to make. Uh, the other part. What's the other part? How do I make the other part? This. Oh, it's it's, yeah, it's etched wiring. It's this stuff. And I only need one of those, not three of those. I got that confused with my NAND chips. Uh, NAND chips are one, two of those, two of those? Yeah, I think it's two of those. One, two, and then a little bit of tin. All right. I think that's everything I got to have to make this printer. So we got circuit, circuit, wire, 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 motor, 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 and an LV machine hull. One, basic printer. Piles of sheets. Okay, you first need to analyze the raw prospect data. To do that, simply put the data stick in the scanner... The scanner, uh, wait for a bit, after the data on the stick is analyzed, put the stick into the bottom right slot of the printer machine with some paper and squid ink. Okay. I do have a scanner somewhere. Basic scanner. Uh, okay. Hopefully this has still got my information on it. My USB flash drive. Thumb drive, thumbstick, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so we'll let you do that. I'm going to get some paper. I don't know if I have any paper. Paper. Uh, okay, I think paper is made with wood shavings and water. Um, oh, you can just do sugar canes in a chemical bath. I probably have that already set up. Let me go grab some sugar cane. I use chemical baths, so I'm 
there's a good possibility that I've already got it. Oh, I fell. Dang it. I ruined my sugar cane farm. Okay. Fixed it. Uh, and then I probably need to go snag me up some squids as well. Let's get, uh, did you work? <clears throat> it does. Analyze prospection data. Nice. Okay. Uh, chemical bath is what I'm looking for. Oh. Huh. You know what? I... Might not have a chemical bath connected to water. Or cutting machine. Electrolyzer. Brewery. Solidifier. Uh-oh. I have a chemical bath. I think... Chemical reactors. I have lots of chemical reactors. Generator. Mm -hmm. Seismic prospector. What does the chemical bath look like? Dang it. Canning. I've got like a dozen canning machines. I must have destroyed my chemical bath. Cutting machine. Energy hatch. I can't believe I don't have a chemical bath here somewhere. I surely don't, though. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, okay. I have, like, five chemical reactors and no chemical baths for some reason. All right. What do I got to have for a chemical bath? Uh, actually, let's just look at paper. See, there's a... I know I made paper before. I thought I did it in the chemical bath. Um, that's it. That's the only way I see. Yeah, you can make it with wood pulp. It's still the chemical bath, though. I have made paper in the past. What did I do with my chemical bath? I must have tore it down in my uh, draconian move to uh, remove all excess machines. Okay. Looks like I gotta make some more circuits. Chemical bath. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna need an LV machine hull, two pieces of glass, ten cable, conveyor module, pump, conveyor module, I know I've got at least one conveyor module. Uh, nope, I got conveyor modules. Um, I've got pumps. Um, I'm going to have to make some circuits. Hey, remember when I said I didn't need those other two guys? I lied. Thanks. No, no, no. Oh, no. No. Oh, I put the wrong thing in there. I just wasted a piece of stainless steel. Dang it. Dang it, man. Okay. Um. Where's that stuff go? Yeah, conveyor module, conveyor module. Don't put it in there. Don't put it in there. Uh, we need... Uh, 
I need two of these. I need nine of those. Hopefully I got enough ten to do this. Boom. Uh, wrench. That. And a little bit of tin cable. Okay. There's your machine hull. Uh, and it's a uh, tin cable, conveyor, conveyor, pump, circuit, circuit, and two pieces of glass. Okay, chemical bath, which I thought I already had. Um, I'm going to plop it in right there. Okay, so that'll make me some paper. So now let's go hunt some squid. Hi, guys. Squid, squid, oh yeah, air, <laughs> that might be useful, that might be useful, squid, you think six is, I'm going to assume six is enough, I'm going to kill this guy though before I go, seven's probably enough, yeah. Oh yeah, where's the printer? And then I'm gonna guess you can be on the bottom there. Look at it, it's so weird looking. I hope that will just take squid ink. Yes, I wanna put paper on. Give me my thing. Oh, it takes three pages. Oh, and it takes it takes liquid ink. Wow. I you need to be next to a uh fluid extractor. Uh let's pop you out of there then and put you over here next to this fluid extractor. Why do you guys always got to do that? Just get over here. Okay, first let's check it. Okay, we're good. Face that way. I'll put your fluid. And... That with some paper. And the data stick. It's gonna be interesting, anyways. Maybe. Oh man. I thought I thought maybe it would um try to do it twice and so I didn't want to leave this stick in there cuz I figured hey, you know, it's received the information, it's going to print on the paper, but no, apparently it doesn't pull the information till at the end. Which means I ought to pull the paper. Oh, dang it, I knew it, you guys. Oh. All I did was waste my paper. Give me this. 
So now what do I do? Okay, apparently I have to make a book. Does that mean I need like a book binder? Uh, printed pages can be combined in an assembler with some leather and glue to produce a book. Uh, wow. This is, this is uh, complicated. Now this has got glue, so let's go with this. Let's give you the pages. And then what are the chances I've got some leather? What do you think? It would be in here. Ah, I've got leather. I got lucky there that I've got glue as well. Hopefully there's enough glue in here. All right. One, analyzed prospection data. Heavy oil, coal, lignite coal, and amber. All right, well, that's interesting, I guess. Let's get some room in here so that I can... No, wait, I should have room in here. What did I do? Why don't you give me the... Why don't you give me the reward? That was weird. And we got... Nice. Some more pumps and some more old school robotic arms. And I got some paper I don't need. You can get out of here. You can hang out in here too, I guess. Uh, Alright, well, so uh, we used the seismic prospector last episode. I made the data stick last episode. I placed the prospector over there. You put the TNT in it. Flashes a little bit. It gets done. You right click on it with the data stick. I'd have a basic printer, which had to be attached to a fluid extractor so I could get ink into it. Um, <sighs> uh, yeah, and uh, I had to have a scanner to scan my data stick. Interesting stuff. So this book can go on the shelf. Um... Yeah. You'd think that with all that, I'd have some kind of just digital reader that would tell me what was going on. Uh, but uh, I guess not. All right. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and call the episode here today. And uh, that'll give me some more time maybe to uh, cook up more canthal and stuff. And... Uh, so we've made it to uh, five blocks now of 16. So I need, um, what, nine times 16, uh, which would be 140 something, 144, I think. And I've got 98. So I'm definitely going to need some more canthal. And, um, but not too much more. We're pretty close. Uh, so I'm going to have to get some more chrome. I think chrome is the thing holding me back, right? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what it is. Uh, could could have been I ran out of aluminum as well, I think. Uh, no, i got plenty of aluminum. Nickel, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, uh... Yeah, click like, like, subscribe, share, and catch the next one, and I will talk to you later.